Guys, welcome back to the farm. Hey, we're out here in a big 80 acre hay field. We're gonna mow down today. We got the John Deere 7610 with the chrome stack. I've got the Ag Essentials kit on this rig. I took the Starfire 7000 off the 7830. It just unclips, put the power outlet in, and you move the G5 universal display. All you gotta do is it's held onto a bracket with four wing nuts. You wanna have a different bracket in every tractor that just sits and swivels. That way when you detach it, it's just these four wing nuts. So anyway, we're gonna set a line. We're gonna use our auto steer. Remember, this tractor's 25 years old and we've got the, the new Aggie Essentials kit about to perform so i'm going to set a line and we're going to continue to cut this down this has been hay for quite some time but it still yields extremely well this is my uncle's hay field and uh, we're going to get it down this will be dry cow feed my brother's over on the other side there's a ditch that cuts this 80. so i'm roughly in 40 he's in 40. he's got another john deere tractor we'll catch up with him in the air in just a bit let's go okay so what we did was I went around this field two times. Now, setting this steering up in a hay field is a lot different than a field you're going to plant with hay or corn or soybeans. Let me get this swung around. I'll give it to you in action here. But laying it down, get my steering. All right, now now we can explain this. What it is is a very long 80 acre field. You can see where I've come across. This is where this GPS technology really, really comes in to your advantage because now that I've got it set, I'm going way down there. Oh, well, there goes a goose. And I can just pay attention to what's going on. I've got it set at 15 foot, nine inches. So I got three inches to spare. So when I turn in the three more inches, so I'm not missing any out here. What can I say, guys? Very, very comfortable and very efficient. I'm running this at 5.8 mile per hour, full throttle, B4. Uh, usually I would run this in C1, but being this is first cutting, it's super thick. We're just going to take it easy and uh, let the technology do the work. End of the field, just been idling down, down shifted one. See, I cut this field in two because there's a pretty big ditch right here. It's got idle down. I'm swinging the disc vine right now. I didn't want to keep driving through that. Got a headland. So I'm lining this up. I'm watching my screen. Big old wide 16 footer. Getting ready to lay her down myself here. Laid it down. Here we go guys. Another thing you can do is you can adjust that by one inch increments. For some reason it's getting a little sloppy. And you're dead on. That's where she's laying it up. Where I hit my A B line. safety this field is a little bit bumpy i had to go around a few branches and, and things so it, it wasn't straight so i did went around twice then i just drew a line i hit that set track and i ran it and i'm going all the way to lake this is a long long 80. You sit back open this up check on anything listen for anything that ain't right 
nice. I like to go a little faster, but it, I'm, I'm not gonna beat the equipment up. So, steering itself, G5 Universal Display coming across. I set my a, a B line over there somewhere. But yeah, that's all done. Looking good. Idle it down so I can make this turn. Deer running everywhere out here. A whole batch of them over there. Running scared. I'll keep her going. Winding her up. You know, see, I got my hand on the shifter. I lay it down. I hit the steering at the same time. Shift up. Sometimes, you see this shift track? You can move this over. Such a long run. I've noticed sometimes it can give you a little bit of a maybe a slight angle. And I'm right on. You can move that, hit that arrow, and it moves you over one inch at a time. I think I just hit it three inches. But on an 80 acre field, three inch, not bad. There was my initial A B line, that red mark. And we're on. It's 5.8 mile an hour. hay off we're not missing a stem got a little ways to go but we're comfortable time for lunch check it out guys another cold cut thank you honey up yeah this is that that one tractor that I wanted to get the ATU, which is a steering auto track universal 300. I wanted it on this tractor, even though it's 25 years old, it's our main cutting tractor. Uh, when I knew we were getting auto steer, this is what I was most excited about trying it on. I'm hitting it, lowered it down, I hit the steering at the same time. Turn that down there for you. Power shift up. We cut a lot of hay, you know, first cutting, second cut. This is still first. It'll be second, third cutting. There's gonna be a lot of these videos of me cutting hay. And spent a lot of hours in here. More more than planning dairy farmer does. So this is where, where I wanted to most use it. I'm excited to get my dad back set up using it too. He's used it, but this is a little different. It's a little bumpier mowing hay, but hey, we're still on line. We're not, we're not doing a thing. I got a lower left fender cover ordered for this tractor. It's a nice tractor. Got a nice headliner, John Deere. They don't, you know, they're, they're, this was well taken care of, so I'm going to replace this, and I'm, I'm going to get a buddy instructional seat to go with it. That way, I can teach the big grant man how to cut hay someday, or anybody else. It's, you know, if they're in here, that way they'll be safe. Yeah, this field's actually part muck. Black dirt dips down in the back. Like to get it tiled someday. We're probably about only two miles from the farm. All dirt roads. So that makes it nice. Lighting it up, guys. Laying it down. Hitting the steering at the same time. Full throttle. Power shift up. I'm off a couple inches, I can tell right now. Hitting my button. One more. We're good to go. Beautiful day, beautiful field. Coming across. Knocking her out. Thank you. 
quick get out of here stretch my legs turn the disc spine off anytime you exit the tractor probably about 80 degrees today <laughs> next three days gonna be mid 90s 97 so that's why we're laying all this down we're gonna lay down 100 and probably 130 acres because you've got the weather, you might as well do it. This thing's purring like a kitten. I wanted to show you this back drainage ditch. Massive county drain, this thing's huge. You drive a bus in there and you wouldn't even be able to see it. Two or three of them. So this has got the pitch, the fall, the ditches to get tiled, but nonetheless, a pretty darn good field anyway. Let's go. Done with our half, guys. There's Greg finishing his half. I've actually, got to head back to the farm and milk but i'll tell you this that's the fastest i've ever cut that side ever since we've been farming cutting hay guys next day hey what i was about to say when my camera died was i've never cut that 80 so quick for the part i did anyway and that was because i wasn't overlapping but just a little bit and uh, quicker, less fuel, and I got done milking the cows. This was the rig that Greg was in. And by the way, it is Father's Day. When you're seeing this, it'll probably be a week or so after, but happy Father's Day, all you fine fathers out there. I just had brunch with my family and my father. We went uptown, got that done. I've got more hay to cut. I can only do so much family time today when you're on a dairy farm. So here's my rig, it's all checked over. We're gonna head over and hit another 30 acres and then that'll, that'll be enough hay down. Let's go. And we're rolling. We're in the field and we're rolling. This is how I open up a field. I'll drive on the edge of it. And you got to run some over, but that way I can see if any branches are put, fell into it. And when I come back around, I'll come back this way and we'll pick it back up. So I'm going to go around this twice and we'll do some of the headlands, the end rows. Then I'll hit that, I'll hit that guidance and I'll show you how that works. Just like that, I do have a fallen tree here. I'm going to try to get out of here. I want to be hitting that. We're good. We're just driving right along, cutting smooth sail on B4. A lot of deer hang out in there. Uh, the farm's actually back yonder. We're kitty corner in the back of the farm. Other side of this little tree line is our other prime fields. Feels a little bit smoother. So guys, I've got this opened up and I had a, a fairly straight line going here. So I set a track A and B. I hit my button and this is where it's taking me. We're gonna get a little off course here, but I'm gonna let it straighten this field out and then we'll be dead on from here on out. End of the row, making my turn. Yeah, that that field straightened out a complete mower with 16 foot that was off from end to end you couldn't even see it with your eye steering activated letting it down rattling up guidance is set seat belts on we're rocking and rolling there was all your overlap down here but it's gonna even out up top It'll come right over as we come down 5.8 mile an hour 2160 rpms happy father's day Here, we're going to 
gonna have to go around, but not a big deal. How straight that is. Wow. I always take her slow, lay it down, idle up, steering, offset. Good to go. And there's where I set my AB line. Be right over here. And I was 16 foot off. It looks straight, but you're, you're not going to beat this with your eye. Satellites, man. Into the field again. Pop up on the fly like that. Idle down. Break my steering. Yeah, the wife and kids are heading to her parents. They got a pool. Hang out in the pool. Upper 80s today. AC's working great in here. Thankful for that. Well, I say, when you're a farmer, man, you've got to really love, love farming. Set up, hit the button, guidance is on, full throttle. You've got to love farming because you've got to do dairy farming almost seven days a week. Father's Day doesn't matter milking the cows on Christmas, so you've got it to, to really be successful at farming, you've got to love it. Be successful at anything, you've got to love what you're doing. And farming, we love. for a second we're making short work of this 30 acres this is what it looks like grassy she's gonna dry quick in this heat like a belt tomorrow but he's got that 80 we cut yesterday to, to work on 
like get out stretch my legs check out the check out the world back here guys eight billion people in this world not a one of them out here guys coming across the center of the field check out my map little father son hay cutting dad we're meeting in the middle yeah we have to brunch he said well maybe we should go golfing i said yeah we'll go golfing now well, let's cut hay instead decided to do that no i'm kidding we weren't gonna golf we're doing we're doing what we do won't be long now coming up on dad i don't think the disc lines are gonna hit she's gonna be close oh yeah we're good he'll have one pass left and that'll be it i got guidance going he's steering last pass oh dad's moving out of my way there he goes got the guidance set let's see if i pick all this up PTO's off. Idle her down and can up to the field. Okay. Power down. We're in. And we're free. Setting them up for a long week of hay baling. Long week. Oh,